This is Jim Tincher with Heart of the Customer. And today, I want to talk about ROI. Now, ROI is a big topic for a short video, so I have to go a little bit high level. So how do we go about showing that value? And we've identified three ways you can do that. The end-to-end -end CX impact, the behavior operational CX impact, or the journey CX impact. Not one of these is right. Any of them can be, depending on where your program is. So let's start first of all with the end-to-end -end CX impact, which is likely what your CX or your CEO expects it to be. This is where you take an overall CX measurement, and net promoter score is common, and then you look and see it drives financial benefits. And so Comcast, when I was meeting some of their leaders a few months ago, they can do this. They can show that when the net promoter score goes up for an individual client, that the customer churn drops and the average value of each customer increases. So big wins. But two things that are true of Comcast that probably aren't true about you. One, they have access to millions of companies. And so they can show statistical connections much better than somebody can with a smaller number of customers. Second of all, they have a fairly straightforward experience, fairly simplistic even, where you've got a family member who makes the purchase and does or does not decide whether to add on or to renew. Contrast that with, for example, a B2B software company, which is where a lot of our clients are. And for them, you've got all kinds of different things going on here. You have the health of the business, you have a smaller number of customers, but at a customer, you have lots of different people. You have the CEO or the economic decision maker, you have the users, you have all these different people. And for a lot of the B2B companies we've talked to, it's been hard to find that direct connection. So they have to go to something else. Second one is behavioral or operational data and mark that word data. Something that's really changing in CX is we have to get better at looking at the data. And so this may be uncomfortable for a lot of people because what we're doing is we're taking the data that shows what's happening, either the behavioral data, what customers are doing, or the operational data, how we're doing, and we're linking it to a financial outcome. You know, one example here is we worked with a um, B2B manufacturer who was able to show that when their deliveries were not as consistent, customers ordered fewer high margin products. So they can link delivery problems with profitability. We worked with another one, a software provider, who found that when there were longer support issues, that product attachment dropped. And so they can tie right from data to data. They still use a survey as more of a diagnostic. It's not a score. We're not looking at the net promoter as a score. The score is, are they buying more of our products? but it's a set of diagnostic, diagnostic show where things are going wrong. So the first one again was end-to-end -end impact. The second is behavioral operational data. The third then is journey CX impact. And that's an area clearly a passion to me. And in this case, what you do is first of all, you look at what is that financial outcome of this journey? What are the steps along the journey with their problems? And then let's fix something and see how it changes. Use a pre post-test approach that by identifying the moments of truth in the journey, they could change those and see how they impacted these measurements and able to show impact of the program in that way. So there is no one way to show ROI from CX, but these are three ways we found out work really well. First of all, the end-to-end -end approach takes lots of data and usually a simpler experience. The behavioral operational impact, which is a really good way of doing it, but doesn't use your surveys, so instead uses data. Or there's the journey approach, which is narrower, but maybe a little bit easier to attack. Three different ways that you can show how your program is really creating a benefit.